Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Magnus and today we will check out what sort of topics is included within the CCSA exam. And when I was recording this video, I noticed like, hmm, Checkpoint just updated to R81.20 for their courseware. So if you go to the Checkpoint website and you can go under training and certifications, you come here. And this is quite good to come here from time to time if you're planning to write the certificate. Because within here, sometimes there are some summer sales. So there are some discount codes for the certificates. So check that out from time to time if you're actually planning to write a certificate. So if we go into this administrative course, we see that it's still three days. I think it's for an admin course. I think it's still a bit short. I was hoping it would be a bit longer. Uh, it's 3,250 US dollars. And if you want to write the exam, it's 250 US dollar more or additional. Um, then you can see all the places and times where this training are, are taking, where this training are, are going. Either they are virtual or they are classroom based or they are some combination. Um, if you want to see like the specific course details, pre-requirements and so on, they are listed here. But the, the more important part is the training data sheet. So this is the data sheet for CCSA. And this is also for the R81.20 as listed here. So we have all the topics. So when it comes to the CCSA, that's an administrative uh, certificate. It's the first one. It's the basic one. So if we check under the objectives here, it's a lot of describe, explain, identify. So they are talking about understanding the foundation of Checkpoint, understanding how it's built and be able to do basic configurations more or less be able to work with the product. They're not talking about upgrading, troubleshooting, that's different certificates. It's good to experience how to do upgrades and how to do troubleshooting. And when you're actually doing your lab or when you actually do build your own lab, you should build your own lab, you will face, let's say issues. There will be things that you missed and the best way to learn is to troubleshoot some, go back, read the documentation, check the video again and then try it again. But that's the best way to learn because you really, you remember what you're doing if something is like, if everything is like next, 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 or you're just checking on a video, you will forget it. At least me, I will forget it very soon. But if I try the next, 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 and it doesn't work, what do I do then? Normally I read like the admin guide, like, okay, did I do this? Did I do this? Did I do this? And most of the time I figure out that I forget something. And, and after I change that, it starts to work. And then I need to, to put like 30 minutes, 45 minutes or whatever time frame on it. But I will remember it a lot more than only going next, next, next in a lab and don't really understand what you're doing. So we will cover, I think, all of these things. But when, when I build these courses on, on YouTube, I use this as a reference. But I have my own idea, like... If you have a CCSA certificate, you should know this. So I add some additional things and I remove some things. So for example, a CCSA certified person will not be managing licenses in a, in a large environment. Yes, they should be aware that you require licenses and some basic functionalities of them. But it's not really important on a CCSA level. But there are other things that is important on the CCSA level. For example, like installing a security gateway. I don't want to have one single security gateway. I want to have a cluster. So you should be able to work with clusters. I'm not sure if in the course where it's actually describing clusters or 
how to work with them because you need multiple IP addresses and you use cluster Excel, etc. I think that's included in the CCSE, but we will add it in the CCSE instead because it's important. And then we have a lot of things like deploying this, installing this, installing this, configure. So we will cover all of this. And everyone favorites topic except my own, how to manage site-to-site -site VPNs. <laughs> I try to avoid this topic all the time because I think it's so boring. <laughs> and, I, and I don't like, um, I don't like some, some ways that Checkpoint have implemented in. Uh, there has been changes over the years, so it's a lot better than it was before, but there are still room for improvements. Um, but yes, a video like that will come as well. So if you want to read more about the, the topics, the exercises, the objectives, just pause the video and have a look. And uh, But I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.